So on the on the start, we have a heat of the Stoner Challenge trophy. Go. On the Berkshire Station, we have Holanda from the Netherlands. And on the Buckinghamshire Station, we have the Chinese national rowing team. Yeah, very much an international affair here, haven't we? We've got the uh, Dutch internationals on the far of the screen in that light white, uh, blue and white boat with those Dutch flags and um, on their oars. And then on the near side in the yellow boat, we have the Chinese double uh, here racing along who have just taken a slightly early lead. So, Mark, um, it's quite a clear one for us, you know, obviously us being both ex-lightweights versus, uh, versus a heavyweight crew, always the challenge. It's an always a challenge that lightweights love, isn't it? And that's as we've just passed Foley. You can see the Chinese crew is still maintaining their lead over the Dutch crew. But heavies and lightweights. But, you know, the Dutch do have kind of a world bronze medalist last year. So, yeah, and Olympic gold, uh, Isla Paulus, yeah. uh, gold from Rio in the lightweight women's double. So fantastic pedigree in there. But then this Chinese crew has been ramping up the form more recently, hasn't it? So, and they've been in Europe for a period of time now, haven't they? So they've been doing some of the World Cups, looking for the last one before they obviously head back before the, you know, the World Championships later this year. So they've been in Nottingham, uh, currently training the Chinese team. Not sure how much I'd like that, uh, Mark. I know we've all been to Nottingham quite a few times, but it's, uh, you know, like, I don't know how you've fared Caversham, Dorney, Nottingham, but... Yeah, so it's so obviously Paul Thompson left the British system uh, before Christmas and has moved across down to working in China. The female team out there, so it'd be interesting to see how they progress under his tutelage. Well, clearly, clearly making a fairly a fairly good start, aren't they? But yeah, like you say, it'd be good to see what heights they actually get to, particularly with coming into a program quite late in the Olympiad. Right, there's only so much you can do, but maybe if you've got the talent there, you can round them up and deploy them in the right way, right? And that's the thing. You think of the vast number of athletes they have. Across all the problems is, you know, how they compete in their system. Um, there must be loads of talent sitting there. It just needs the right kind of leadership, I guess, to kind of help them progress. And that's potentially what he's done here with his Chinese boat. So as we watch them coming down on the on the left-hand side in that yellow boat, sort of bright red racing suit, um, uh, Xi, uh, Xu Lu is relatively new to that crew. Uh, she's in the stroke seat. She sort of made her uh, international debut as a junior in 2016, uh, winning the junior worlds in the quadruple skull, and uh, just made the step up to senior. And actually, experience like this, stroking a boat, uh, leading uh, another international crew at a big regatta with a big atmosphere like Henley is really good learning experience for, for, for a younger, for you know, a, a future star potentially. And as both crews enter the regatta enclosure, which will lead them into the stewards enclosure, the Chinese national team is still leading Dutch lightweights. I think the Dutch are wearing, um, it looks like they've got the, the tops that, that are normally worn by sort of near house crews, aren't they? Yeah. Um, the little stripes that they sew on their, uh, their tops. As they move through the stewards enclosure, Chinese are still maintaining their lead. It'll be a last ditch attempt by the lightweights to try and hold them back, but it looks like the Chinese have maintained their margin throughout the, the bulk of the race. and just kept inching out they come towards the line as the Chinese national rowing team crosses the line there ahead of the Dutch lightweights and will progress on to tomorrow's semi-final. Wow. 